Who's it, please? Hello? She's still lost. She's still lost. I don't know where she is. Right. Any money on her or phone? She's got no phone. Does she need any medical attention or medication? She does. For epilepsy, she really needs, you know, support. She needs yeah. help. Gaia was one of three sisters. Older sister Clara and identical twin Maya. I saw Gaia as this beautiful princess. When I met Gaia, we were just sat out at break and somebody was playing some music and she started dancing along with me. As soon as she walks into the room, she just light the place up. Everyone was obsessed with Gaia. She was like the toast of the smoking area. <laughs> Gaia, you know, she had boyfriends. She was very popular. There was one boy, he had messaged her on Facebook. He had quite a reputation around Bournemouth and Paul. A reputation of being a bit pushy and forward. With only a couple of clicks on social media, she could have never expected the danger there was to come. They just decided to meet up. I remember saying to her, oh, do you think, do you really think you should meet up with somebody you've met online? And she was messaging me while she was there. Afterwards, she just said, oh, he's, yeah, nice enough. Gaia went to see Connor again. She said she was going to stay the night. But then we got a call from Gaia. She rang me up to say she wanted me to pick her up in the early hours of the morning. She expressed something to me, saying that she didn't want to see this person anymore. Um, we had no idea what had truly happened. Gaia stopped coming into college. We couldn't keep her calm. It was out of control. We decided that we would drive her into accident emergency. She was talking a lot and shouting, and we couldn't quite understand what she was trying to tell us. And so grabbing a notepad and a pen, she just started writing and writing and writing. There were pieces of paper everywhere, you know, very jumbled thoughts. I said to her, has someone hurt you? And written down on a page was Connor's name. We'd pieced together everything she'd written down and everything that she was saying. Um, and it was clear she'd been raped. She could remember Connor sort of go behind a kitchen wall to make a cup of tea for her. She thought that ketamine was put in her tea, but she'd, she can't be sure what it was. She was definitely on something because she felt like the room was spinning and the ceiling and the floor were swapping. I called the police and asked to report a rape. We were getting ready for her police interviews. Gaia was very scared. She was stealing herself for something that she knew wasn't going to be easy. But she was very worried that there were other victims. She wanted to do her part to protect other girls. Weeks went into months, and there had just been no communication from the police whatsoever. And every day, a guy was waking up like, is he going to knock on my door today? After five months, the police called Gaia. They told her they believed her allegation, but there wasn't enough evidence to take her case forward. But while the police dropped Gaia's case, the news broke that Connor Hayes had been charged and eventually convicted of another sex offence. Gaia's friend sent her a post from the Dorset Police Facebook page.
The police listed the charges and they were there for everybody to see. I was absolutely astounded to know how many people have been impacted by this guy. It reiterated to me how much of a monster he, he is. Two men from Dorset have been sent to prison for filming themselves having sex with a teenage girl and then publishing the video on the internet. The pair have been jailed for two years for the offence, which dates back to November 2015. The sentence wasn't long enough. She was frightened. From that point on, it was just a countdown to no longer being safe. Police inquiries can help you. I've been advised by a crisis line to call emergency. So who is it regarding? Gaia. Let me have a description. She's 19 and she's got long, mousy blonde hair. She's wearing greyish leggings. Police inquiries can help you. I've already spoken to you. Um, I haven't heard anything. I've just this minute come up because I've been out looking for her. I don't know what to do with her. You're just going to have to slow down. She's gone off. She's run out of the house. Dorset Police today released CCTV images of Guy Pope, taken less than an hour before the last confirmed sighting of her. I could see the look on my sister's face. She was terrified, like she was trying to hold everything together like she was panicking. Police have now issued CCTV footage, which is believed to show Gaia shortly before she disappeared. Officers have already carried out a large number of inquiries. The search for Gaia Pope is being stepped up. Police and volunteers are about to set off. They came in their hundreds, refusing to give up hope. Some were local, most don't even know Gaia Pope or her family. I got a call that I needed to go back to my aunt's house and there was an update. We were sat cramped into this living room. Everyone was there. My dad's side of the family, my mum's side of the family. To hear my dad sit down and say that our little bird has flown. The search for Gaia Pope has been going on for 11 days, but that search has come to an end. At 8.44 p.m., five hours from Gaia running out of her aunt Talia's house, they fly over what we now know to be Gaia's final resting place. There is, in fact, a very small white dot at the inquest, the flight officer said he believed this was a rock. As it turns out, this hotspot was just metres from where Gaia's body was eventually found. What exactly was her cause of death? The pathology report told us that Gaia had died from hypothermia. I think it was the second day of her being missing that I was made aware that there was a missing person. I think it was the deputy chief constable who breached me and said that actually she had started off being a medium risk missing person, which I found very odd. And I challenged the deputy chief constable on that. And he said, we learnt lessons from it, the officer's been spoken to, but misclassifying a guy as a medium risk in your golden hour is just unforgivable. I mean, if you look at her, epilepsy, her complaint of rape, her mental plunge. She's high risk all day long. The police should have realised that this is a person in crisis, not a person who's missing. Connor Hayes maintains his innocence and adamantly denies raping Gaia. He also denies sending any threats. He has said he is very sorry for any distress he may have inadvertently caused to anyone he contacted on the internet. Dorset Police said, in December 2015, Gaia Pope made a report of rape. There was insufficient evidence to charge any suspect with the offence, and no further police action was taken. The Independent Office of Police Conduct found that while the police investigation could have been more thorough, any failings by individual officers did not amount to breaches of the professional standards of behaviour. We recognise that as a force, our immediate response to the missing person inquiry 
should have been better managed. We should have done much better, especially during those first 48 hours, and for this, we are truly sorry. <laughs>